Hi, today we are talking about communication and in this portion we want to specifically share some obstacles to communication. Mm -hmm. We learned in the last portion that communication is the vehicle to destination to connection. Mm -hmm. If your car has a flat tire, a dead battery, or it just broke down, it's not going to get you to your destination. In the same way, unhealthy broken communication will not help us reach the destination of relational connection. There are many obstacles that either don't allow us to express ourselves adequately mm -hmm. or do not allow what we are communicating to be correctly or completely understood. When communication is blocked, it is easy for love's energy to turn to frustration, mm -hmm. uh, resentment, and anger and may prompt us to just quit trying. Mm -hmm. One obstacle or barrier to healthy, clear communication is that what is said isn't necessarily what is heard. Meaning can get lost between the mouth and the heart of the speaker mm -hmm. and the ears and the mind of the listener. Mm -hmm. When we make assumptions about what we think someone say or they make assumptions about what they think we say, then often after we've assumed a meaning for what another said or did, mm -hmm. we assume their motive for saying it. This just happens so naturally, almost by default, that we assume we know what someone means or their motive for what they said or did. Mm -hmm. Assuming what someone meant and assuming their motive for what they say or do can be highly destructive to relationships. Mm -hmm. We may discern some things that are true, but we need to be careful not to cross the line into judging the person. Yeah, that's a fine line between discernment and judgment. Mm -hmm. Discernment is a valid practice, but judgment is not healthy. Mm -hmm. The difference between the two is the attitude of the heart. Discernment is recognizing truth. Judgment is responding to our discernment or perception by hardening our hearts and maybe even believing mm -hmm. lies about someone. Instead of making assumptions based on what another person is saying or their motives, we should consider what is our bias, beliefs, interpretations, speculations, and assumptions. Mm -hmm. The bias we have may have us reading other people's minds and judging the intention of their heart incorrectly. Another barrier to communication is just the fact that we are all designed differently in many ways but particularly in the ways our brain process a thought. Prominent brain researcher Caroline Leaf teaches that the brain has seven main areas through which one mm -hmm. single thought is processed. Mm -hmm. These areas are interpersonal, intrapersonal, logical, mathematical, linguistic, kinesthetic, musical, and visual spatial. Mm -hmm. Every thought passes rapidly through each of these seven areas of the brain, but Thoughts don't pass in the same order in every person. Mm -hmm. The sequence for processing a thought is not exactly the same for any one person. And the area of the brain stimulated to respond to that thought will be different based on how that thought was processed. Mm -hmm. This means that two different people thinking exactly the same thought can process and respond very differently. <laughs> Ours are like opposite <laughs> orders. <laughs> this can also mean that two people receiving the same exact message, mm -hmm. can process, understand, and respond very differently to the very same message. That's why sometimes we, do, we just don't get each other, huh? <laughs> we are seeing and hearing the same thing in completely different ways. Your way is not bad. It's just it's different. Yeah, that was huge for me to learn that. Everyone doesn't see or think how I do, and mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that either of us are wrong. It's just mm -hmm. different. different way to see it, it opened my mind to consider other possibilities and perspectives, ways of thinking other than my own. And it also helped me not to infer my perspective on others or assume I know what they meant, mm -hmm. but to really hear their heart and how they're perceiving, realizing it could be probably is completely different than my perception. Remember before we get married, uh, we made plans for me to pick you up at work. Oh, huh? yeah. And then I, I dropped to your work 
and I stay in the parking lot and I was waiting and waiting and waiting. This is before cell phones and texting. <laughs> being frustrated. And then Susan is waiting for me at the office, waiting and waiting. I'm getting and a little frustrated. <laughs> what, what happened was we both had a different interpretation of what we met picking you up at work. Yeah, whether it was me in the parking lot or me in my office. I'm still <laughs> mad about that 23 years Sorry. later. <laughs> <laughs> Also, not long ago, we got a message in a group text, text. that said, mm-hmm. uh, thanks for keeping us out of the cold. Mm-hmm. And we both looked at each other with an assumption mm-hmm. about the covert message behind those words. <laughs> yeah. When we both share what we thought the text be, uh, was saying covertly, <laughs> we each had a completely different, <laughs> like, where did you get you know, that? different assumption, you know, so... After the shock of the completely different covert meanings we had interpreted from the Mm -hmm. words, thanks for keeping us out of the cold, we Mm -hmm. laughed together and decided it's just best to interpret as a simple expression of gratitude. Yeah, We don't always see things uh, in the same way. And as a result of that, disagreements and challenges occur in our relationship. There are lots of opinions, styles, personalities, backgrounds, and experiences which cause us each to see things differently. Oftentimes our own past experience hurts in relationships and interactions we've had will cause us to improperly interpret another person's words or actions. Mm -hmm. Our family dynamics growing up, the way that we were treated, our past life experiences, and especially hurts can frame or interpret communication we receive, causing us to see and hear it in a distorted way. At times what someone say or does will unconsciously touch a painful spot in our soul and we will irrationally respond with hurt, anger, fear, or some other in, intense emotion. Mm-hmm. What the person say or did may or may not have been wrong, but our irrational response comes from the unhealed hurt from the past. Learning to listen and really hear the heart of another person beyond their words is so important. Mm -hmm. Some people are way more verbally expressive than others. And some people like to take you on this long story before ever getting to the point, if they get to the point. That's true. That's true. (laughs) Yes, but some people are so different. They they don't put any flowers to the message. They just lay it out. Direct. No time to waste. (laughs) It's true. Got to be direct. It's good to have balance. Balance. And learn to respect and honor the differences in each other. I mean, sometimes I have to refrain from saying, uh, what is the point? Or I may interrupt with my answer before you finish your story. Wait, wait, wait. (laughs) (laughs) But Proverbs 18, 13 says, he who answers a matter before he hears the facts, it is folly and shame to him. And verse 20, 21 describes the power of our words. Mm -hmm. It says, a man's self shall be filled with the fruit of his mouth and with the consequences of his words, Mm -hmm. he must be satisfied, whether good or evil. Mm -hmm. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. It says the consequences of our words, uh, meaning our words have consequences. Yes. And these two verses help us to balance our lives. Mm -hmm. Um, We saw Priscilla Shire interviewing a panel of men, asking them questions that women need to know. And the men unanimously uh, agree that a woman saying, we need to talk, (laughs) made them immediately feel anxious Uh, vulnerable to attack or accusation, maybe even defensive. (laughs) And uh, so the men share that it is good for their wives or their wives to plan time when they can do something together and talk while doing it and is naturally into conversation <laughs> rather than say we need to talk we need, well we need to meet <laughs> <laughs> i figured out a long time ago my best chance for a good conversation with you is a long drive in the car <laughs> you're true. captive it's true. Yeah. <laughs> no but you're focused on driving and we're excited yeah. about where we're going and we have great conversations and we've made some really good plans and set some goals yeah, on, on those long car rides the best goals we have planet on drive me driving and you talking <laughs> yes yes yeah. yeah with all this obstacle it really is a wonder i, I would say it's a miracle where I, we are able to communicate at all this is why it is important to develop the skill of healthy communication remember healthy boundaries are the map and agape love is the gas 
healthy communication is the vehicle that will take us to the destination of connection and relationship. And there's always more than one way to see everything. Mm -hmm. Let's remove the obstacles to communication and keep honor alive by Mm -hmm. respecting our differences and doing the difficult work of growing together in healthy relationships.